Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to be making our marble jump. So, uh, stay tuned. Alright. So the very first thing that I want to do, so I want to go into my project settings, and I want to actually add that jump input. So we're going to add that. And I'm going to make mine spacebar. So I'll just press space. Go ahead and close that. And now we can go ahead and get started with our marble functionality. So what we'll do is, is we'll first we'll head into our variables and we'll create a new variable and we'll call it jump power and we'll make it a float and I'm going to make it 6.0 and this is essentially like our jump height. Uh, I found 6.0 is a good height but you can change that if you'd like. And I'm also going to make a variable called grounded and we don't necessarily need to make this one exposed to the uh, uh, details panel. So I'm just going to set that to false initially. And so what we can do is we can do if input with a capital I and this is going to be in our physics process dot is action just pressed jump then we can go ahead and do some kind of jump function and we can make that oops I forgot to write the function part and so what we're going to use is another built-in rigid body function and it's called apply central impulse and what this essentially is is like a tiny explosion happening to our marble and we, what we want to do is we want to send it upwards. So we're going to do a vector 3 dot up times our jump power. So now we can actually go ahead and test out our jump. But you'll notice a few things like this weird camera jankiness. And also if we spam the jump we can just fly in the air. Because uh, we're not checking if the player is on the ground when they jump. So we'll have to mess around with that. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the game. And to first uh, fix that weird camera jankiness, I'm going to head into the spring arm. And I'm going to move it up 0.35 meters. So you'll see up right here. And then now that we have this grounded variable, we're going to want to uh, check if the player is grounded. So we can do if the player or and grounded for if the player is grounded right but we actually have to figure out a way to check if the player is grounded or not so we're gonna add a new component called a ray cast and what a ray cast is is a ray in 3d space used to find the first collision uh, it intersects so that's gonna be perfect for what we want so you can kinda see what this is see this blue arrow it's going to it's going to be able to return if it's colliding with something else. But we're going to want to short shorten it a little bit. So I'm just going to make it 0.4 meters instead in the target position. And I'm going to move this up. And now I want to name this uh ground check ray. And I'm going to add a script to it. And this is fine. And first we need a few references to our marble and to our mesh. And then I want to delete these. And then set our this uh, ray's global position equal to our mesh's global position. And this is going to be similar to our um, camera with how it's following the mesh instead of the marble itself because we don't want to uh, get that rotational data. Otherwise, we'll get some weird rotating jankiness. So that's fine. And then we're going to use a built-in function in this raycast. And it's called is colliding. And this essentially returns true or false depending on if this uh, ray is intersecting with anything. 
So we're going to do if is colliding marble dot grounded equals true. Else marble dot grounded equals false. And so now we can go ahead and save that and uh, test out our game. So if I press space now, I can go ahead and jump. Still have a bit of weird camera-ness. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it up slightly more, 0.5 meters. And if you're getting similar results, just move it up a little more. But there we have it, our jump. So thank you guys very much for watching. Um, in the next episode, we're going to get started on our uh, finish line so we can actually have a end to our game. So uh, stay tuned for that, guys.